Here we are, arguably the most iconic four-wheel drive track in all of Australia. The old telegraph track, Cape York. We are over 3,000 kilometers from home and couldn't be more excited to tackle it. Vertical drops, bottomless mud, deep water crossings, we are here to push our four-wheel drives to the absolute limit. Taking on all the hardest lines and following the OG route through the track in an attempt to make it all the way to the top. Proudly supported by Opus Campers, Ultimate 9, Tread, Superior Engineering, GME, and in part by. In the previous episode, we completed the southern section of the old telly track where we took on Palm Creek and reopened Gunshot. In this episode, we keep heading north all the way to the end of the track. Well, look, northern section of the telly track. We stay straight into it, we don't muck around here. They're going down. Yeah, and then we got unstuck. So we're through that, and then we got a big, deep, long cross in here, which looks fun. Next section, this one's deep. So, <laughs> a bit nervous, but we'll put both lockers in. We'll go second gear low and just a nice, steady pace through. I'm sure it'll be sweet, but you know, just first one through. I'll, I'll, Very deep crossing. I'll put my foot in. Yeah, yeah, you get ready for the water to come in. Yeah, I hear it. It's coming. It's coming in. <laughs> oh, only just came up out of that. <laughs> it's a bit boggy at the end there. Pretty deep hole, this one, so. I'm going to opt to choose a different line to tie on. Nearly got bogged, but we made it. That was just second gear low range. About two and a half, three grand, just what holding it. Think about that, strap up. Yeah, I reckon we send him in. Have a strap ready. Uh, so once he gets to here, I'm going to put a soft shackle on this, connect this to his car. I'm going to push it just down his bull bar, not wrap it, so that if he does get stuck, I can just grab it, run it, or pull out. Hook him onto you, tug him straight up there, bud. Lovely. What rope is that too? This is a tread um, kinetic snatch strap. So these stretch more than your basic one, and that's how they work. You need to get the stretch on them. And it pulls, and then once it takes up the slack, it snigs them forward. Helps get you out of like yeah. mud they a bit use better. Yeah, kinetic power rather than just a space. Yeah, yeah. not so much. Yeah, and they mind yeah. Then crash, rip tear, bust. Hopefully it's not the bust. Now there's a mud hole here. They got recovery gear on me. And we'll see if it turns into that. Well, we're nearly there, but we're not. Chuck us that soft set shackle guy. Ropes out, Tyler's backing up his truck. Yep. yep, we're off the moving. Beautiful, made it. A little bit in the back, guys. Nearly had up. You nearly had up. What are you reading about that, mate? That was swift and shift recoveries. Mate, good recovery. Crew set up, ready to go. Safety first, mate. You Two minutes into up. the episode, mate. You're already broken up. We what go happened? through that body, that thing, that puddle, and I try and open my door. Wouldn't open. Get over here. Wouldn't latch. So I ripped my door off, as you can see. She's apart. It's a GQ, this stuff happened. But if you look in here, you got the, the lock mechanism majigger in there, mate. She's dry, she's dusty, because all the dust comes in, down through your door and whatever, dusts everything up, so. 
be a WD. Fixed. Not quite. <laughs> Not quite fixed. More WD, more better. So we're one crossing down, one repair down. Next stop is going to be a morning swim at Elliot Falls. Bloody absolutely incredible swimming spot up in far north Queensland. Let's go. The girl them skill our chip. Thunderball, some give it to, some give it to, some give it to, to our girls. Five million and forty naughty shorty. Baby girl, I'm a girl. What do you have to say about this spot? Best swimming hole yet. Look at that. Look at it. Mate, we're driving halfway across the planet Earth to get to this spot. Yeah, I'm going to come here with it. It's a dead weight. Such a good swimming spot, this one. So warm. Water's really warm. Water's super clear. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm going to eat, mate. It's going on, bud. I feel like you could just spend the whole day here swimming in all these different areas. Like, there's the one main falls, but then there's all those little waterfalls up the next section. Then you walk up the creek, and you got like this little channel here you can float down. You just spend the whole day exploring, and it's the perfect temperature and weather. Like, you don't get cold at all. What a spot! What a place! So luncheon swimming is done. Next creek crossing. Do you know what this one's called? The Mabberto Canal. Straight across Canal Creek, quite a simple crossing this one, although on the exit we chose the bonus line out, which not sure if that was a good idea. It was an absolute slush pit of mud. That's it. Line A was a no-go, let's try line B instead. Beautiful. 16 points. <laughs> we got there, we got there. Took a few uh, line ups, a bit of spotting from Tyler. He did some good spotting. Onto these exits out of the creek now, like a lot of these tele track creek sec exits, there's a few options. I'll copy the same one Birdo did and see how I go. Probably should put a locker in. Mate, what are you doing? Half hanging off the bank there. Straight up, 
straight up. That was wild. Right, they got me going up through some slush pit here. Looks pretty grisly. Ah, that might be it now. Seems to give up on it. Didn't quite have the clearance there with the 33s over the 35s. It just kind of bellied out trying to get up on that bank there. is very close, nearly had it first go, but it's kind of jammed in there now. So we'll just pop him up, winch him forward. It was definitely a bit of a wild obstacle, this one. Even on the winch, Dad's GU was flexed up and on a big lean trying to come up out of there. Never been so crossed up in your life, Jazz. That's one slush puppy, that one. I can't even seem to get out and look at what it's going to look like the rear of this truck. <laughs> <laughs> you got it done, boys. You got it done. First I didn't recovery. expect that to happen. First recovery of the afternoon. Another creek crossing done. Keep punching north. Next crossing, Sam's Creek. The telly track is pretty much just creek crossing to creek crossing and in between it's just like a dirt road. There's not much to film, so just going to be filming creek crossing mostly. Sam's Creek is another beautiful crossing, clear water and sandy bottom. And if you know where to look, there is an incredible swimming spot not too far away. We've done a couple of creek crossings, that was hard work, so we figured we'd have another swim. This is the Sam's Creek waterfall. Bloody hell of a spot. That's pretty much all telly track is, just water crossings and swimming at a lot of them. Just had a swim at uh, Sam's Creek. Now we're just swimming through the next little creek. They're all beautiful sandy bottom, crystal blue water. It's, I haven't ever seen creeks that, that clear and blue up here it's, or anywhere to be honest. It's beautiful. Straight into another one here. Don't know the name of them. I forget the names. <laughs> names them all and I don't have my map out to check but I'll pop them, up, pop them all up on the screen as the episode plays on so you can see all the names of the creeks that we're crossing through. There's a few people at some of these crossings but it's surprising me how little busy it is out here on the telly track for Queensland school holidays. No. no, this is it. This is it. There's one way through. So look at this. We got something that's not a creek crossing. You go over the creek this time, mate. Yeah, Cyp that. Cypress Creek Log Bridge. So yeah, just gets rebuilt every year. A log bridge gets washed away in the wet season, re rebuilt. People chuck some logs down, some ratchet straps, and then you drive over and hope for the best. creeks and groans as it went over but we didn't fall in that's what you want <laughs> we're across going across the cypress bridge now little log bridge that they strap together with ratchet straps every year
Cypress Creek, Log Bridge, Concord, and we continued punching north on the old telly track. A few flexi sections, some mud, but the main obstacle we were heading straight for was the infamous Nolan's Brook Crossing. An extremely deep, soft sand river you need to cross that claims countless vehicles every season. More truck side repairs here by Birdo. He's, he's grabbed the drill and he's just drilled straight into his car. Let me, let me just drill, show. drill, zip tie those flares back on. These guards are shagged. I've got new guards at home. I don't want my flares coming off and losing them. So they're going on what we. <laughs> mash bus is going good. Well, mate, everyone loves the mash bus. <laughs> <laughs> What's this one called? What's it called? I don't know. What's I think I think it's Logan's Creek. We're coming up towards Nolan's, one of the most famous crossings in Australia. Yeah. But you got this uh, one, which is very deep as well, not too far from it. Big, long way out there. I don't think I'm going to walk it. I reckon we're just going to drive it. Yeah, you say that because I'm going in first. Yeah. Perfect. First one in, that's always fun when you're not really too sure if you're going to make it or not, but it should be fine. I don't have the tyres super low, but they're about 16 or so. I'll just put both my lockers in for maximum traction. I'll go second gear low. Mate, that's a long way and that's deep. We made it, but we made it. That was good. Pretty deep little crossing. Was that good fun? It was good, it had that little bit of a gravel, but I knew it was coming out. After that crossing, which I believe is called Logan's, let me know if I'm wrong, you've only got one more swampy section to navigate, then you arrive at Nolan's. Where are we, mate? We're at bloody Nolan's, mate. We've so we made it. Waiting all day to get here. End of the telly truck, the most famous crossing, Nolan's Brook. Yeah. There's a big crowd here to watch some, one of us drown, but it's not going to be me, but it might be you. Why have you made, brother? I'm going to get in there and, and suss some of the lines, mate. We'll pick the deepest one straight well, through. Do we just, yeah, let's just go check the big one out, eh? Yeah, big one. Big one. I'll show you. You're under the check. You're better on the camera. Let, let the mechanic do the mechanic thing. No, number one tip from Nolan's. Air down. It's low tire pressure. It's steady throttle, not too much throttle. So we'll just do a quick tire pressure check and you know make sure they're not having heated up too much. What do you want to be at? Well, 16. 16. Maybe just go to like 14. Just take a couple of them. Just to be sure. Kai said, mate, I'm really high. Can I get stuck? So let's come back, okay? Okay. Father works on. Uh, here we go. Makes me real nervous this one, especially because you've got like 30 people watching you. I'll go first gear low and we'll crawl across. We're filling up. Oh, it's coming in. We're filling up. Oh no, it's coming quick. We're filling up. Wet, 
Tyler through Nolan's, no worries. I'm going to do the same thing. Build up good, eh? <laughs> Mine's the same. What's that? Sound like it was shimmering a bit. Yeah, it went all right, but what do you reckon it's struggling a little bit? Oh no, it just feels shimmery. It just yeah. feels like it's shimmering that moment before there can be trouble. Yeah. <laughs> and just like that, we were successfully across Nolan's. Time for a swim and a relax. What do you reckon about it? Yeah, look, yeah. Yeah, you can't be I've got a 79. Drive your own way. Get blood coming out. Oh, he's floating. He's floating. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. He's floating. He's floating, boy. Don't rattle any this is why you hook it to the car that's driving in, eh, Tyler? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want any four driving tips, watch Tyler Thompson <laughs> on uh, YouTube. Man, if you want any merch, it's tylerthompson.com <laughs> right here. Bull bar. Don't tie it to the bull bar. Wait, does it like snap? That's a redneck. I hope. Look at this mate, just bloody carnage, carnage here at Nolan, there's, there's two hydro-locked rangers right there. The sun's just disappeared, so a little bit of a late camp today, it's just coming up 6 o'clock. So we're heading down towards the Jardine River, it's about 7 k's from Nolan. We'll hopefully have a little bit of a quieter camp to ourselves there because Nolan's was just chaos. There was just people and cars and busted up cars everywhere. A little mud hole there on the way down. It was a bit slushy for me so I filmed the others. Alright, we're nearly at camp, we're nearly there. 33s. They went down into bog holes. Six o'clock we said, hey, let's not camp at Nolan, it's too busy. Let's head seven k's down the road. Now we're doing a recovery and it's going to be dark when we get there. Perfect. Typical Tyler Thompson. We're here for the adventure. Yeah, we're having one right now. <laughs> Rock infested swamp. <laughs> uh, you good to go? a bit of sunset entertainment mate. Mate, we're trying to get down here to go fishing, you're getting us stuck. <laughs> Don't send Gary that way. Yeah, do we turn and try the other way? Try the left line if you can Gary, that right line will get stuck in this one. Here we were thinking the day was going to be over, a nice little 7k drive to camp down Dirt Road. Cape York said, nah, that's not happening. That's just going to be a few k's of swamps and bog holes. So we're on. We're going to be out here to bloody midnight this right? Oh, yeah, that sounds pretty typical.
Well, we're here, we made it to camp. That's the Jardine just down behind us there. We just took the first turn off down to a camp spot here. We saw on the drone, we had it to ourselves. So we'll set up, probably get a fire going and enjoy this night. It was a big day, big adventure today, but we got yeah, the whole section of the Northern Telly track done. There's the Jardine down there. There's actually a few people fishing on the other side. They must be camped over there somewhere. Fire safety. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fire safety. It burns itself for two meters square and then you put it out. All right, Carl, get going. Hang on. Whoa, 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 easy, Tiger. You nearly hit f***ing Sammy Hitsky. <laughs> Old bud was calling you Sammy Hitsky, eh? Yeah, come. Nah, it's because he's a f***ing kid. <laughs> nah, I don't know why. I said Sammy Hitsky's better. He goes fishing. Look at that. Upper, upper. Oh, look at that thing sweating. So dinner tonight, I've got the last meal pre-cooked before the trip, some satay chicken and rice with some sriracha on it. And then Kai's on night number 15 of nachos or tacos, look at that, he's made the ultimate bowl tonight. Mm. Layers of chips and beans and avocado and cheese. I'm ready. What light you got there Kai? The ultimate nine. Ultimate light. Nothing you can't do. Yep, and I'm gonna give out ultimate bloke. It's just all ultimate. Final thing of the day, welcome back to the nightly ultimate bloke award. Supported by Ultimate Nine. Hold the shirt up, Kai. We need to see the shirt. Other way round. Other way round. Yeah, yeah, look that that'll do. And Sean's got one on two. Ultimate nine, maker of the world's best throttle controllers. Every night of the trip we, we pick the ultimate bloke from the day. So Kai won yesterday, so he's gonna pick a winner tonight. Who are you gonna pick Kai and why? We got, um, we got, look at this, we got Tomato right here. He, look at this bloke. Look how red he is. Mate, I'm embracing Cape I'll pick um, Mr. Boss Man. I'm, oh. I'm sure Mitch saw this coming. <laughs> He, he predicted it from the start. I think I predicted it from the start. I think yeah, we all did. did. I think everyone predicted it from the start. What's, what's your reasoning? I mean, he's my dad. <coughs> is that the reason? <laughs> oh. Because that's f***ing valid as shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the only reason. He packed up my swag this morning. That was pretty good. You, you was Mate, if, you packed if, up your look, awning. Let's be honest, if not for him, we would all not. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. Be here, so. he, he, he was coming for him sooner or later. Yeah. Oh, thank, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the appreciation? Yeah, yeah. The appre That's it, round of applause for me. Yeah, no sunny. Edge, he just earned himself two chocolate bars at the next <laughs> service station. <laughs> 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 mate, he was out there picking. Struck that good, came all the way back, mate. <laughs> I don't know. Down here on the Jardine River, trying to catch some food for Gary, mate. Plus a bit of fun. It's a lovely morning, and we'll see what we can do. And I love to live so pleasantly. Because we got in fairly late last night, we didn't really have much time to look, look around the area, but there is another track that goes along the edge of the Jardine here. I think it takes you down to the old crossing of the Jardine River, so I figured we may as well go down there for a little look and explore this morning. So there's the old Jardine River crossing out across the Jardine and you exit way over there. So yeah, a couple of k's down this other track and you come to the old Jardine River crossing, there's a big sign saying stop, the former Jardine River crossing is closed. But we're going to finish up this episode there. So that's the northern section of the Telly track, all done all the way up to the Jardine River. 
and that's as far north as we are going to go on this Cape York adventure. We're not going to go back to the ferry and cross the Jardine and go right up to the top. From here we're going to start heading back down south. We're actually going to do the old telly track in reverse. Yeah, you see that? Shit. 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 